I have a new knife I want to share with you. This is the Nordic Protector 130 from Scandinav Knives. And yes, it's still in the box. If you're interested in finding out why, keep watching. All right, before we get started, I want to thank Scandinav Knives for sending out the Nordic Protector 130 so that I could share it with you. Now, a few things before we get started. To be clear, this is not a review. It's not exactly an unboxing, it's kind of a first impressions video. And the reason for that is, is because it was a direct request from the owner of Scandinav Knives that I do it this way. This, as you would know, this is not the normal way I review anything. Normally, I would have it in my possession and test it for a good period of time before bringing it back to you. We're going to do it a little bit different today. So what I'll do is I'll just take you down to the tabletop. I will open up the box. I'll show you what's inside. I have not used this knife for anything at all. So it really is more or less a first impressions video. All right, let's get started. All right, so what's the story behind this knife and why it's in the box and what makes this so special? Well, I recently became aware of the Scandinav knives. I saw an advertisement for some of their knives through a Canadian firm known as Bushcraft Canada, and I'll be putting a link to this knife specifically on their website as well as the link to the company in the Czech Republic where they are made so that you can get more information on them in case you are interested in purchasing one, of course. And uh, I was uh, quite taken by it. So I looked up the company, talked to the owner directly. Actually, we, we talked over uh, the internet, a face to face talk, and had a discussion about their blades, what makes them so special, why they're so interested in this specific design. And he agreed to send one to me, but the, the agreement was that I do a three video series on the knife. And I know that's very unusual for me. This is video number one, which is just a, a quick opening, a look at the knife. I'll go over my first impressions. I will give you the specifications for it. And that's it. That's, well, that's all I can do, right? I, I haven't got any use on it at all. The next will be a first impressions type of video in use. So out in the woods, I'll be doing a little bit of a demonstration with it. And finally, the third video will be a more full on review of my final thoughts on it after having used it for some time. What it should do though, even though it'll be three separate videos, all, time, all told, all put together, the time should be about the same as it would be if I was just doing a full on review after a period of time. And and I do have a question regarding this process, but I'll save that to the end. All right, let's get started. So as you can see the box, there is the symbol for Scandinav knives. There is their name down here in the corner. As you can see, I did take it out of the package as it was shipped to me. Let's open it up. It is quite a nice presentation case. There is the knife inside. And I know a few of you, more than a few, are going, wow, that's different. Yes, for sure, it certainly is. And I'll take it out in one second. I want to know, can you identify the style of knife right off of the top? A lot of people will say sheep's foot or uh, something like that. This is a broke back sax, S-E-A-X, a very traditional Nordic design that has some real regaining popularity is one way of saying, but uh, okay, we'll talk more about the sax in a moment's time. So let's take the knife out. So the way for me to do this, I guess, is to take the foam out. I'll save what else is in the box, of course, for a moment so that I can get the knife out, put it aside. I'll give you some views of the knife. I'll go over its specifications, then the sheath is what's in the bottom, and I'll go over that in a moment as well. So you can see, again, the Scandinav uh, symbol here and Nordic Protector on there. Actually, it's on both sides of the knife as well. I'll talk to the blade design, design and everything else about it in just one moment. Let me just get the sheath out so I can show you that and then move on. So here is the sheath that matches the knife. Now, you'll notice it is a reddish brown leather. Uh, I'm quite taken with that, it's very interesting. And I think the reason why it was packaged this way is because of this grip. And I don't have a lot to tell you about the grip, I will in future videos. But you can see, aesthetically, the colors do match together quite well. Here's my first impression of the sheath. Man, is this heavy duty. I mean, look how thick that leather is. That is just crazy thick. Look at the welt, right? Super thick leather. And again, the Scandinav design. Um, let's just see, how does it go in? Oh, it's snug. It's snug in there, right? It is very snug. So there it is sitting in the sheath. Yeah. 
It's not a dangler. That would be my preference as a dangler, but that's something I can take care of myself later. All right, so we'll take that out. Boy, it's snug. That's going to loosen up over time, of course, but uh, right now it's nice and snug. All right, so I did say it was a sax. S-E-A-X. Some people refer to it as Seax. I don't know that one is necessarily wrong, but the one I'm, the name I'm familiar with is sax. And uh, it is Brokeback Sax, and that's by this clip point, if you want to give it another name. I like that it has a slight curvature to the blade. A lot of the ones that I have seen don't. They're very straight out, flat, sheep's foot type of a blade. I prefer this. You also notice that the grip angle is how it is in relation to the blade, how it curves to the back. That gives it uh, a more, how should I say, ergonomic way of presenting the knife if you're doing any cutting. It's easier on the wrist if my, if with that uh, type of a grip more close-ups on it. So let me just do the specifications and then we'll talk a little bit more about the design. Overall length, 10.25 inches, 260 millimeters. Blade length is five inches, 130 millimeters, 130 the name, right? Nordic Protector 130. Handle length, 4.9 inches, 125 millimeters. Blade thickness is 0.175 of an inch or 4.45 millimeters. It is full broad tang, as you can see. This steel is Sandvik 14C28N, and it's hardened to a Rockwell of around 60, plus or minus, is what, plus or minus one on the, on the Rockwell scale. I'll give you the rest of the information that I have in the video description. I can say this one has a stone-washed finish. Now, the knife that was sent to me is a full flat grind. Uh, as they refer to this, is a flat and groove grind, because so, you can see there is a fuller, full length along the blade but otherwise it is a full flat grind. It is also available in true Scandi, and I mean true Scandi, no secondary bevel. So right down to a zero grind Scandi, so you can get your, chain, your uh, choices there. Yeah, not a lot more to say about it. What I can say for you right now is that the spine is not flat. It is not 90 degrees. In fact, let's see if that'll pick up. Apparently the angle on this each side is 15 degrees off of, of, of flat, so and it's rounded. It's actually nicely rounded. Uh, I know that's going to disappoint a few people. This is not something you're going to scrape a ferrocerium rod with, at least with the back of it here. The rest of the spine is slightly proud, meaning it is raised ever so slightly above the grips, and that's true all the way around, including on the bottom right here. Sharpening choil, just a little one. That's all you really need, of course, is one right there. But the blade comes back almost all the way to the grip itself, which is nice. Look at the size of those Allen screws that hold the grip on. So you could remove this for maintenance. There are liners. They're black, so they kind of blend in. But there is a nice contrast with the stone wash finish of the blade. And the lanyard hole is at the bottom. It's out of the way. And some people prefer that. Actually, I do. I think I prefer the lanyard hole either down here or a hidden one that some knife designs will have. Feel in the hand. Really very nice. Now, I know uh, I do have XL hands. So uh, when I say it feels fairly f hand filling, that means it's a good size grip. Let me just give you the profile is traditional, kind of Coke bottle shape as it's often referred to. There are no thumb scallops or ramps, and there is a little bit of a rounded section here, but in pinch grip, if I move my hand up on it, it actually works quite nicely. It's quite comfortable there. Really? There's not much more I can say about this. Let's wrap this video up. All right, so that was my first impression slash unboxing of the Nordic Protector 130 from Scandinav Knives. As I mentioned, this is not a review. It's just an introduction to the knife. So my next step will be to take to this to the woods, start doing my testing, all the things I'd normally do, demonstrating some of that as I go along. Again, short video that will be. And then finally, there will be the full-on review of what I think about it. It may take some time before I get to that full-on review because I do want to give it enough time on my belt out in the woods that I can come back with my full impressions of this knife. It's different, I'll say that. Um, I'm looking forward to testing this out. So I like flat ground knives. Um, I know some people prefer Scandi grinds. Personally, personally, I prefer a flat ground knife. There is one thing I don't think I mentioned. Look at the tip. That means it's fairly thin. Being a flat ground knife, you're going to come off to the edge fairly quickly and for a fair tip. Very, very fine. 
I think this will be great for carving, but I think it's something you may have to be cautious of using in the woods, especially for batoning or any hard works. Definitely no prying or stabbing or anything like that. And that's true of all flat ground knives. I find that, you know, quite often the tip is uh, just a little bit too fine for that. So I resist the urge to hit the tip or dig the tip and pry anything out with it as you normally would. Okay, here's the question of the day. This is my first unboxing of a knife. Is this something you enjoy seeing or would you prefer I wait until I have a lot of time in the knife and bring it back to you all at once. If you have any comments or thoughts on that, put those in the comments section below. Again, I'm going to put what I have in terms of specs and information on this knife in the video description. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.